Which microphone do you think works better in a noisy big city? Is it this one or this one? In this video, I will let you hear the difference so you can decide for yourself. And I've picked a great place to test it out because I am in central London. I'm Elisabeth from Top of Mind Video Marketing. In a world full of invisible entrepreneurs, your own smartphone is enough to give yourself a stage right in front of the people that you want to meet the most. Subscribe to this channel because I will help you make your company and your products visible to your target group. Do you hate it if you have to make an effort to understand what someone's saying in a video? Well, you are not the only one. Most people will acutely stop watching your video if they have to prick up their ears. They just don't want to make the effort, no matter how interesting your video is. Here in this small hotel room in the city of London, it's relatively quiet. You might not even need an extra microphone if you want to record a video here. But if you want to take more distance from your smartphone, from your camera, the sound will go hollow. And if there's extra noises like other people in the hotel or city noises, you will need a microphone. And if you go outside to film, it's indispensable. I brought two microphones with me because I want you to hear the difference. This one looks really professional because of this maybe. Well, this is really the microphone and this is only for wind sound. And you can plug that in into your smartphone, of course, with a connector. The advantage of this microphone is that it's directly on your camera, so you're not stuck to your camera with a cable. This one costs around 30 euros and it's called the Boya MM1. And this is the Boya M1. It's a lavalier microphone that you attach to your clothing. It costs around half of what this one costs. So this one costs around 15 euros right now. And you use the same connector to attach it to your smartphone. Both microphones work, but which one is best? We try it first here in this relatively quiet hotel room. This part I have filmed with the lavalier microphone. It's right here. And what you hear now is the sound recorded by the Boya MM1 microphone, the one that's directly on the camera. So this part I have filmed... They both the work. The difference in quality of sound is minimal. But we're going outside now for the real test. <laughs> Right in the middle of London, between Buckingham Palace and Trafalgar Square. There's lots of people, there's lots of work going on. And I've got the M1 mounted on my smartphone and plugged in. And now I'm going to take a bit of distance from the camera. So we can listen to what it sounds like when I'm about two meters away. And now I'm using the M1, it's right here. Still noisy. Okay, I'm taking a few steps back. Very windy, very noisy, so well, it should still be working because I've got the microphone with me. It's easy to hear. The bigger the distance between the source of the sound, like your mouth and the microphone, the harder it is to understand what's being said. There are all the other sounds coming in as well. And if you use a lavalier microphone, the distance between your mouth and the microphone isn't very big. So your sound, your voice, is being lifted above all other sounds. If you've bought one of those MM1 microphones, sad, but well, try a lavalier microphone if you want to record your video in a difficult situation, because then you know your sound is always good. What microphone do you use now to record your videos? Please let me know in the comments below this video and Watch this next video where I'm going to explore more of London.